I'm Jim Joris, and this is your PLC Hero Weekly. Today I will be sharing with you some tips for troubleshooting RS links and how to create a trail of breadcrumbs when going online. RS Links is a window-based communication software package developed by Rockwell Automation. It's a software package that allows you to configure the drivers that communicate between the software and the hardware. RS Links can run either as a service or as an application. When you start RS Link Classic, it automatically runs as a service by default. To change it to an application, go to your Start menu, go to Rockwell Software, scroll down to RS Links, left click, and scroll down to RS Links Classic Launch Control Panel. Left click, and when the menu appears, it shows System Default. RS Link Classic service is not running at the moment. And if you do want to start it, you click here. Right now we have it checked, always run as a service. We want to uncheck that. RS Link Classic application is not running. Do you want it to run? Yes, you click start. RS Link Classic application is now running. You can X out of that. And when you click on your icon on your desktop or your taskbar, RS Link opens up and displays RS Who. So make sure that it's always running as an application. With RS Links open, I will be going online to a Micrologic 1100 processor. I will be using a RS-232 adapter cable for a USB port on my laptop. Go up to Configure Drivers. Under Available Driver Type, click on RS-232 Devices. Add New. I'm going to leave the name as Default and click OK. How to identify the USB port for your laptop has been covered in another tutorial. I know for my laptop it's going to be COM port 5. So I come down here, scroll down to COM 5, left click, go down to Auto Config, it'll go out and check if everything's right. It's going to come and say Auto Configuration Successful. And there it is. Click OK. Here under Configured Drivers, we have ABDF1, Data Highway 485, Station 0, COM5, and it shows it's running. The status is running. So go ahead, close it out. On the left hand side, I will click on my drivers. And ABDF1 becomes animated once I click on it. And on the right hand side are my PLCs. I will click on the PLC I want to communicate to, left click, and then I will minimize the screen. With RS Links running in the background, open up RS Logic Micro Starter Lite. Under Comms, go to System Comms. And when the communication screen pops up, click on the PLC on the right, which is Node 01 Conveyor Warehouse, and click on Online. You know you have communication established because of that icon that's animated, and the outside rails of the ladder logic is painted green. If you should lose communication, a dialog box will pop up and asking you if you want to go offline or retry. Just X out of that. At this time, you need to go to the source of the problem. Remember, RS Links is a program, it's a software program that 
connects the driver to the hardware to the software. So go ahead and close out Micro Starter Lite and go to your RS link. The screen we're now looking at shows that there is an X on the PLC. Whenever you see an X, a red X, it indicates that at one time we had communication established, but it's no longer true. The easiest way to troubleshoot this is go up to Configure Drivers, left click, and go under Name and Description of the Configured Drivers. In this case, we only have one driver, and it does not show any problems, does not state any problems here and it shows that it's running. The status says that it's running. If there's going to be a problem, it will indicate right in here. It will show up in this area here. Since there is nothing apparently wrong here, the easiest way to fix this problem is go to configure, left click, and do an auto config. Auto config successful, click OK. Close out. And we see that communication has been reestablished. Go back and open up RS Logic Micro Starter. Go to Comms, System Comms, left click on the PLC you want, and go online. In way of review, if you're online and you lose communication, Close out of the program and open up RS Links. With RS Links open, you will see a red X across the processor that you lost communication with. To troubleshoot, go to Configure Drivers and open. With Configure Drivers open, Look for the description of the problem. It will be under the name and description. Here we see that it's COM5. There's a port conflict. The problem is not going to be indicative here under the status, but look for it under here. Again, it's COM5 port conflict. This is where you're going to see the uh, description of the problem. The best way to troubleshoot this problem is highlight the driver and come down here where it says delete and click on delete after deleting the driver reconfigure the driver again go up to available drivers find rs232 left click add new click ok scroll down to com5 and click on auto config Auto configuration successful, click OK and close it out. Go to your drivers on the left hand side, left click, and then right click on the PLC that you want to communicate with. In this case, it's 01 Conveyor Warehouse and minimize the screen. Open up RS Logic Micro Starter Lite. Go to Comms, System Comms, Drivers on the left, PLC on the right. Click on the PLC you want to communicate with and go online with. And then on the right hand side, click Online. Whenever going online, it is always a good practice to create a trail of breadcrumbs. To begin with, go to File, Save As, and behind the file name, add Current and Today's Date. And click on Save. When you click on Save, the program is now saved with a new name. Here we have Conveyor Warehouse Current 628-2017. Go back to File, Save As, and when it opens, you see the same program with two different names. 
There are several reasons for doing this. Number one, should there be a system crash, you can always download the original. Number two, if changes are made and later proves out that they were not necessary, again, you can download the original program. And number three, if changes prove to be warranted, you can just save under the original program name. The second step is to create a log as to what the problem is, what was changed, why it was changed, etc. To do this, go to Revision Notes, and in this scenario, I will enter John Smith, 628, 2017, Production Experiencing Intermittent Shutdown of Conveyors. Note, while online, communication to the processor was lost twice. The first time, I had to reconfigure the driver. Second time, a COM port conflict required a deletion and reconfiguration of the driver. I also checked cables and connections. Click Save. Say Yes. Upload the processor. And you're now back to the program. Summing it up. When going online, get in the habit of creating a current copy of the program and make notes of the problems. Especially when troubleshooting under pressure, trying to remember the changes that are made or the order that they were made are often difficult to remember. Make notes for yourself and others. Resolving problems are not always a quick fix. Sometimes they could take weeks. Thank you for viewing another PLC Hero tutorial. If you want more, make sure you join us at plchero.com. It's a great place to network, to learn, to share your experiences, and to advance your career.